Imagine this. You walk into your living room, switch on your TV, and it feels like it just got smarter overnight. The screen looks sharper, the response faster, and everything seems smoother than ever before. That's the kind of excitement building around the upcoming Apple TV 4K 2025. The leaks are spreading fast, the rumors are stacking up, and if even half of them turn out to be true, this could be the most surprising and powerful streaming upgrade Apple has ever delivered. Apple has always played the long game with the Apple TV lineup. It doesn't release new versions every year like the iPhone. Instead, it waits until there's a real reason, until the experience can feel noticeably different. And that's exactly why this 2025 model has everyone's attention. It's not just about higher resolution or faster chips this time. It's about merging performance, intelligence, and design to create the most seamless entertainment hub Apple has ever made. So, what exactly do we know? Let's start with what's been whispered across the tech space. Multiple leaks from inside Apple's supply chain have hinted at two things, a new chip and new connectivity. The 2025 Apple TV 4K is expected to jump from the A15 chip straight to the A16 Bionic and possibly even the A17 Pro in the high-end model. It sounds like a small number bump, but it's a big deal. The A16 and A17 Pro chips are not only faster, they're smarter. They bring better machine learning, smoother graphics, and far more efficient power management. What that means for you is simple. Everything you do on the Apple TV gets quicker. Apps open instantly. Navigating through menus feels buttery smooth. Gaming on Apple Arcade becomes more responsive, and video playback stays flawless, even when you're streaming in Dolby Vision or HDR10+. The A16 chip also allows Apple to introduce deeper AI processing, something that could redefine how your Apple TV interacts with you and your environment. Think about how your iPhone predicts what you want before you even ask. Now imagine that experience expanding to your living room. Picture Apple TV recognizing your viewing habits, adjusting sound balance automatically, depending on what you're watching, or even dimming connected smart lights the moment you press play on a movie. That's where the A16 and A17 Pro come in. They open the door to a smarter entertainment ecosystem, not just a faster box. But what really has people talking is connectivity. The upcoming Apple TV is rumored to include Wi-Fi 6E and possibly even Wi-Fi 7. For those not familiar with the numbers, Wi-Fi 6E adds a brand new 6 GHz band, basically a cleaner, faster lane for your devices to communicate without interference. If you live in a busy apartment, you've probably noticed how streaming quality drops at night when everyone's online. Wi-Fi 6E fixes that. It's more stable, faster, and perfect for 4K HDR streaming. And Wi-Fi 7? That would be the next big leap. Higher throughput, even lower latency, and better reliability when you've got tons of devices connected. Apple's been quietly preparing its products for this jump. The latest iPhones and MacBooks already support Wi-Fi 6E, so it only makes sense that Apple TV joins the party. Alongside faster wireless, there's also talk of improved Bluetooth capabilities and tighter smart home integration. Remember how the 2022 Apple TV 4K doubled as a thread border router? Well, 2025 is taking that idea further. The new model is expected to expand thread and matter support, meaning all your smart devices, from lights and blinds to security sensors, can connect faster and more reliably. No lag, no disconnects. It's the kind of quiet upgrade that changes your daily life more than you realize. Imagine saying, hey Siri, movie night, and within seconds, the Apple TV turns on, the lights dim, the curtains close, and your favorite streaming app loads automatically. That's not the future. It's what Apple's designing right now. Now, let's talk about something many users have been waiting years for. 4K at 120Hz. For context, most modern TVs already support 120Hz refresh rates, which means smoother motion and an ultra-responsive feel, especially for gaming. The current Apple TV hardware already includes HDMI 2.1, which is capable of 4K 120 output. Apple just hasn't turned it on yet. So could 2025 finally be the year Apple enables 120Hz and VRR, 
variable refresh rate. Many analysts think so. It makes sense. Apple Arcade is expanding. Apple's caught. Roller support is getting better, and the living room gaming market is heating up. Even beyond gaming, 120 hertz makes everything feel better. Scrolling through the interface feels fluid. Animations become seamless. It's one of those upgrades you don't notice until you try it. Then you can't go back. And this ties into another small but crucial rumor, the new Siri remote. If you've ever lost your Apple TV remote in the couch, you know the pain. But Apple might finally fix that in 2025. The leaks suggest a new remote with Find My integration, possibly using ultra-wideband, UWB technology, the same chip inside the latest iPhones and AirTags. That means you could open your iPhone and get a live direction arrow pointing exactly where your remote is hiding. There's even talk of a tiny speaker built into the remote, so it can beep when you ping it. No more digging through cushions. And Apple might finally add backlit buttons, something fans have wanted for years, making it easier to navigate in the dark. It's not a flashy change, but it's one of those quality of life upgrades that make a huge difference. Speaking of quality of life, Apple is also pushing its software game hard. With TVOS 18, Apple already rolled out enhanced dialogue mode, smarter subtitles, and on-screen insights showing who's in a scene or what song is playing. Combine that with the new hardware, and you get a device that doesn't just stream, it understands how you watch. The improved AI chip could enhance these features even more, perhaps even offering real-time translation or adaptive sound tuning that adjusts to your room's acoustics. But Apple being Apple, there's always one rumor that feels wild, but somehow plausible. And that's the one about an all-in-one living room hub. Multiple sources have hinted at a device that merges Apple TV, a HomePod-level speaker, and a camera, something that could handle FaceTime calls, video chats, and even gesture control, all from one elegant box. Imagine taking a FaceTime call directly on your TV without your iPhone. Imagine an auto-framing camera that keeps you centered while you move around the room, similar to center stage on the iPad. It's still unconfirmed, but Apple has been testing prototypes like this for years. The combination makes perfect sense. Apple already has the software for it. Continuity camera on TVOS 18 lets you use your iPhone as a webcam for video calls. The next logical step is building that directly into the box itself. If that device launches in 2025, it could redefine what home entertainment hub means entirely. Now, what about storage? This might not sound as exciting as new chips or remotes, but it's actually a big deal. The current Apple TV tops out at 128 gigabytes. Once you download a few large Apple Arcade games, apps, and cached video data, that fills up fast. The 2025 version could double or even quadruple that capacity, offering 256 gigabytes of internal storage. That's not just nice to have. It's necessary for the heavier games and richer streaming experiences Apple is pushing. More storage also means faster app loading fewer data purges, and smoother performance when juggling multiple active apps. Pair that with the A16 chip's efficiency, and you're looking at an Apple TV that feels new for years to come. But now, let's address what might be the biggest question for everyone watching price. Apple TV has always been a bit pricey compared to competitors like Roku, Chromecast, or Fire Stick. But according to recent analyst reports, Apple might finally shake things up. There's growing speculation about a $99 entry-level model. That's right, a cheaper Apple TV designed to compete directly in the mass market. The idea is that Apple could offer two versions, a standard $99 Apple TV with Wi-Fi 6E and the A16 chip, and a higher-end Pro model with 256 gigabyte storage, Wi-Fi 7, and possibly a 17 Pro inside. It would be the perfect way to strengthen Apple's ecosystem, making Apple TV the core of every home while promoting Apple TV Plus, Apple Arcade, and HomeKit all at once. Apple could also use service bundles to add value without dropping the price. For example, imagine buying an Apple TV and getting six months of Apple TV Plus or Apple Arcade included. It's a smart move that would boost adoption without changing the retail tag. As for the release date, Apple typically updates the Apple TV quietly. No flashy stage event. 
just a press release followed by review units a few days later. The timeline right now points to two possible windows, spring 2025 or fall 2025. A spring launch would give Apple room to spotlight other devices in the fall, but if the new model carries the A17 Pro chip, a fall release alongside the new iPhones makes perfect sense. So what should you buy? If you need a solid 4K HDR streamer right now, the current Apple TV 4K 2022 model is still one of the fastest, most reliable boxes out there. It supports Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, HDR 10 Plus, and has the smoothest interface in the business. But if you're interested in the features we talked about, Wi-Fi 6E, 4K120, Smarter AI, and that UWB remote, then waiting might be worth it. Because this time, the jump isn't just iterative, it's foundational. Apple's clearly moving toward a smarter living room, one that blends entertainment, gaming, communication, and smart home control into a single seamless platform. An Apple TV 4K 2025 could be the missing piece that brings it all together. The best part? Apple isn't trying to reinvent what a TV box does. It's refining it. Each change feels intentional. Every upgrade, from faster chips to smarter features, aims to remove friction. The device isn't shouting for attention. It's quietly making your life easier. That's Apple's real genius. If the 2025 model delivers everything we've discussed, a 16 power, Wi-Fi 6, E120 Hertz support, smart home upgrades, and that Find My remote, it's going to feel like a completely new experience without changing the box's iconic simplicity. At the end of the day, Apple's vision for the living room is bigger than streaming. It's about connection. Whether you're watching a movie, gaming with friends, or FaceTiming family across the country, the Apple TV is evolving into a smarter hub that blends technology into the background. So all you feel is comfort, speed, and ease. And honestly, that's what makes it special. It's not about flashy numbers. It's about invisible convenience, the kind that just works. So tell me this, what upgrade excites you most? The A16 chip? The 120 hertz support? The smarter remote? Or maybe that idea of an all-in-one Apple TV hub with speakers and a camera? Because if Apple nails even two of those, 2025 could be the year Apple TV becomes the centerpiece of your smart home. If you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, and share the video with your friends who love Apple leaks as much as you do. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. What feature would make you upgrade to the new Apple TV 4K? I'd love to hear your opinion. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.